Right now, as you listen to this, a historic scientific asymmetry is unfolding in real time. China's Tianwen-1 Mars orbiter has done what no other mission has ever achieved. It captured and publicly released high-resolution images of the interstellar comet 3I Atlas, showing its nucleus coma and an extended iron tail in unprecedented detail. These aren't theories or simulations. These are verified frames, processed and uploaded to the Chinese National Space Administration's data archive. And this is happening now, mid-November 2025. Meanwhile, NASA remains silent. The most advanced imaging system ever pointed at this object, the high-resolution imaging science experiment aboard the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, better known as HiRISE, took its own series of exposures during the exact same encounter window. Those data are confirmed to exist, yet they remain withheld, not shared with the scientific community, not released to the public, and not even summarized in an official bulletin. As of November 15, 2025, 45 days after capture, the high-rise data lockdown continues. On October 1, 2025, the United States government shut down. 85% of NASA's workforce was furloughed without pay. Mission-critical operations were reduced to skeleton crews. Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter stayed in contact, but its data processing pipeline slowed to a crawl. At that exact moment, 3I Atlas was racing past Mars at only 18 million miles, the closest pass of any interstellar object to a planet in recorded history. Between October 1st and 4th, both China's Tianwen-1 and NASA's MRO had their cameras locked on target. China's mission, equipped with the high RIC camera, recorded a rapid series of exposures, tracking a 3.5-mile-wide object moving at nearly 130,000 miles per hour. Despite the challenges, they succeeded. By November 5th, the Chinese National Space Administration released their processed imagery and a detailed preliminary report. Within days, researchers around the world were analyzing tail morphology, coma brightness, and nucleus reflectivity curves. NASA, by contrast, has released nothing. The high-rise camera, capable of 150 yards per pixel at comparable distances, observed the same event from a closer vantage point, with better optics and higher data throughput. The high RIC system, while impressive, operates at slightly lower resolution. Both were pointed at 3I Atlas during the same time frame, yet only one nation shared what it saw. The Tianwen-1 images stunned astronomers. They revealed a bright central nucleus nested within a luminous spherical coma several thousand kilometers wide. Surrounding it, faint jets arced outward, filaments of ionized gas streaming under solar wind pressure. Analysis by the Chinese Academy of Sciences, published on November 12, measured an ion tail stretching 2.85 million kilometers from the nucleus, nearly eight times the distance from Earth to the moon. In the opposite direction, a sunward-pointing anti-tail extended roughly 0.95 million kilometers. These are not extrapolations. They are direct measurements derived from sequential imaging taken across 30 seconds of orbital tracking. For the first time in history, humanity has direct visual imaging of an interstellar comet from another planet's orbit. The animation sequence released by Beijing's National Astronomical Observatories shows 3I Atlas drifting across a dense starfield as Mars glows below. Each frame locks its trajectory precisely relative to the planet's limb, offering parallax data that no Earth-based telescope could provide. That dataset alone will occupy planetary scientists for years. Now imagine what NASA's high-rise would see. Operating from a similar orbital altitude but with three times the optical gain and a proven signal-to-noise advantage, high-rise could, in theory, resolve contrast across a few hundred meters of the comet's nucleus, texture, fissures, jets. It's the closest humanity has ever been to seeing the surface of an interstellar body. Those data exist. We know the timestamps, the telemetry packets, even the downlink confirmation codes. Yet no images have surfaced, not a single pixel. NASA's official explanation points to bureaucratic delay. During the shutdown, data processing teams were classified as non-essential, but the shutdown ended weeks ago. Other Mars missions, MAVEN, Odyssey, and Perseverance relay channels resumed routine uploads. So why not high-rise? The silence triggered congressional concern. On November 3rd, 
A research coalition briefed members of Congress urging NASA to release the data immediately. By November 5th, a representative from Arizona, home to the University of Arizona where High Rise is managed, scheduled a formal meeting with NASA administrators. The outcome remains undisclosed. Meanwhile, the European Space Agency confirmed that Mars Express and the ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter also imaged the comet during the same approach. At lower resolution, yes, but they released their datasets by November 10th. Their transparency stands in sharp contrast. The difference is glaring. China shared its data within 30 days, ESA shared within 40, and NASA, still nothing after 45. For a science built on open verification, that's not just delay, that's paralysis. The timing of those frames is scientifically golden. 3i Atlas reached perihelion on October 29th, skimming 1.4 astronomical units from the sun. At that moment, it was venting volatile gases at peak intensity. Any high-resolution image from October 3rd to 4th, during the Mars flyby, captures the comet at maximum activity. The tail structure documented by China shows material density a million times higher than average solar wind plasma. That means the comet wasn't merely glowing. It was pushing back against the solar environment. Theoretically, a mass outflow that dense could generate measurable thrust, altering its trajectory by microfractions detectable over months. Without high-rise imagery, we can't confirm if the nucleus fractured, rotated, or maintained symmetry. The missing frames represent not just political drama, they represent lost physics. In July 2025, when 3i Atlas was first detected by the Atlas Survey in Chile, it exhibited a modest 3,500-kilometer anti-tail. By October, that tail had expanded to 2.85 million kilometers, an 800-fold increase in three months. No known solar system comet has ever shown that kind of exponential tail growth approaching perihelion. Such escalation implies violent internal activity. Either massive pockets of carbon dioxide ice were sublimating simultaneously, or an entirely different energy mechanism, perhaps crystallization of amorphous water ice releasing latent heat, was at play. China's spectra reveal a carbon-to-oxygen ratio far above solar norms, supporting theories that this object formed in a carbon-rich protoplanetary disk billions of years ago, possibly before the Sun existed. Those are clues NASA's unreleased images could test directly. Researchers in Europe, Japan, and India are already combining Tianwen-1 and Mars Express data to reconstruct the comet's 3D structure. Early models suggest the ion tail and anti-tail are aligned along a plane 14 degrees off the solar ecliptic, consistent with a rotating nucleus emitting jets from opposite poles. That geometry, if confirmed by high-rise, could prove that the observed anti-tail isn't an optical illusion, but an intrinsic emission feature, possibly linked to the same symmetric behavior seen from Earth-based telescopes after perihelion. In short, NASA's withheld images are the missing piece of a global puzzle. As of mid-November, 3i Atlas remains hidden behind the sun from Earth's perspective. It will re-emerge into morning skis in early December, bright enough for mid-sized telescopes to detect. Astronomers are preparing coordinated observation campaigns stretching through January 2026 under the International Asteroid Warning Network. By then, the object will be roughly 1.2 AU from Earth, its closest approach, before it slingshots past Jupiter in March 2026 and exits the solar system forever. That gives humanity one last window to collect data, verify chemistry, and archive the legacy of our third interstellar visitor. And yet, the highest resolution data set of all, sitting on NASA servers since October, is still behind a wall of bureaucracy. This is not about conspiracy. It's about transparency. China's willingness to release data openly contrasts with America's current data lock culture. Scientists don't need speculation. They need pixels. Every hour those images remain classified is another hour of lost collaboration, lost verification, lost potential discovery. The situation has now reached the halls of Congress. A bipartisan inquiry has been filed requesting that NASA expedite the release of high-rise imagery under the Freedom of Information Act once full operations resume. The request cites scientific urgency, not politics. If released, 
the high-rise frames would instantly become the highest resolution imagery of any interstellar object in history, a milestone equal to the first pictures of Pluto or the first black hole image. Here, what astronomers expect those frames to reveal? The surface texture, the brightness gradients, the anchoring points of the tail jets, the true nucleus shape, and the possible signs of fragmentation. If even one of those parameters can be measured, it would redefine the models explaining 3i Atlas's bizarre symmetry. According to internal NASA memos, the high-rise data pipeline is queued for public release upon completion of post-shutdown validation. No date given. But insiders hint that preliminary thumbnails could appear by late November. ESA and CNSA have both offered to cross-calibrate their datasets with NASA's when it becomes available, an unprecedented act of cooperation across rival agencies. Everyone wants this answered, because beyond the politics and the bureaucracy lies a breathtaking reality. We have, right now, simultaneous orbital images of an object born between the stars, a visitor older than our sun, photographed from three different nations, from three different spacecraft, all orbiting another world. That alone is history. Whether those missing high-rise frames show a quiet nucleus or a storm of jets doesn't change the fact that we are witnessing a new era, one where interstellar science is no longer theory but observation. 3i Atlas began as a faint dot in July 2025. Four months later, it has become a mirror reflecting how nations handle knowledge itself. China published, Europe shared, America hesitated, but the cosmos doesn't wait for paperwork. The comet keeps flying, the tail keeps stretching, and the data, captured by all three, will one day converge to tell the truth. Until then, all we can do is watch, question, and keep asking the most human of scientific demands. Show us what you saw, because somewhere inside a NASA server farm sit the sharpest images ever taken of an interstellar traveler, images that belong, ultimately, to all of humanity.